I heard that you're a dirty cop. I heard that you've been racially profiling people and harassing them. I could make up any reason or any story that I want to arrest you right now. It'd be your word against mine. Who do you think they're going to believe? Some thug or an upstanding police officer? But I didn't do anything, sir. Really? Morning. Good morning, officer. License and registration, please. Um, may I ask why you pulled me over, sir? Yeah, you, uh, you didn't come to a complete stop at the stop sign back there. <laughs> well, actually, I did come to a complete stop at that stop sign. No, you didn't. And I see that you're not from this area. Oh, that's correct. I'm not from this area. I live about 25 miles out. What are you doing here? I'm visiting a friend from this neighborhood. A friend? Yeah. I highly doubt you have a friend that lives in this neighborhood. Wait, what is that supposed to mean? Do me a favor. Tell your friend to meet you somewhere else, because I don't want to see you in this neighborhood again. Excuse me? You heard what I said. <laughs> Sir, with all due respect, I haven't done anything wrong. There's no reason for me not to be able to be in this neighborhood. Yes, there is. If you don't do exactly what I say, do you understand how much trouble I can get you in? Excuse me? I could make up any reason or any story that I want to arrest you right now. It'd be your word against mine. And who do you think they're going to believe? Some thug or an upstanding police officer? But I didn't do anything, sir. Yeah. That's what I thought. Get out of here. I don't want to see you in this neighborhood again. You got it? Do. You. Got it. Yeah, I got it all right. to see me, Captain? Yeah, Kyle. Have, have a seat. I heard a rumor about you. Rumor? Actually, it's quite a few rumors. I heard that you're a dirty cop. I heard that you've been racially profiling people and harassing them. A lot of rumors, Kyle. The bad kind. I don't know what you're talking about. You remember stopping a man last Saturday by the name of Wade? No, I don't recall. Mm. Memory's a bit hazy, huh? Not to my recollection. Black man in his 30s, you stopped around the Mango Park condo complex driving a silver Hyundai? Okay. Yeah, I pulled him over for running a stop sign. That's him. What about him? Well, you stopped him for no valid reason. Again, Captain, with all due respect, that's not true. I stopped him for running a stop sign, and I didn't even give him a ticket, so I don't really see what the problem is. Well, the problem is that you stopped him for no valid reason, and then you threatened him if you saw him in the neighborhood again. Do you remember that? No, I don't remember that, sir. How convenient. If you don't do exactly what I say, you understand how much trouble I can get you in. Excuse me? I could make up any reason or any story that I want to arrest you right now. It'd be your word against mine. And who do you think they're going to believe? Some thug or an outstanding police officer? Where, where did you get this? Who gave it to you? Where do you think I got it? What did you come down here and file a complaint? <gasps> no. Not exactly. What are you doing? George, you mind coming inside the conference room for a second, please? Thanks. What's going on? What is he doing here? 
Why are you wearing a badge? Officer Kyle Jacobs, please allow me to introduce you to Officer George Wade. Wade, you're a police officer? Yes, he is. You see, Officer Wade here works at the Citrus Grove District. And I asked him to come work with us for a few days as a favor. See, I've been investigating you for a while, and all the complaints I've got about you have occurred around the Mango Park condo complex, which is where you live. So I had to bring somebody in who you wouldn't recognize, and I asked him to ride around there for a few days, hoping that you would bite, and you did not disappoint. I mean, guys, this is clearly a misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Wade, does this sound like a misunderstanding? Oh no, it's definitely not. I mean, look, guys, I didn't really mean it. Seriously. Hmm. Which part didn't you mean? The part where you said you can arrest him by making up anything? Or the part where you said, what was it? That no one is going to believe a thug like him. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I thought. Officer Jacobs, you are hereby dismissed permanently. Come on. I mean, look, okay, I was wrong, I admit it. But you gotta give me one more chance, please. Kyle. Please. Kyle. Captain. I'm gonna need you to put your gun belt on the desk. Officer Wade, escort him out of the building. My pleasure, Captain. Come on, you heard him. Hurry up, let's go. Come on, let's go. Get off, man. Do it myself. Come on. 